All right, so we got our first little problem here. First uh, barrier. Here's the new oil cooler. Um, the used oil cooler. This is a doghouse kind of oil cooler. And originally I had a skinnier one like this and it uses six millimeter um, volts to, to mount. So this is not gonna work because here's the hole that it has to go through and it's uh, thicker and it, the hole is bigger. So I'm gonna back this out with two, two, two nuts and replace it with this one. But the problem is I don't think this is long enough because if you stick it in here, you can see it doesn't even give you enough. It would have to stick out at least this far to grab it and that wouldn't give me much meat here to put into the case. But we're gonna try it anyway, see what happens. If this doesn't work, I'm gonna just use a regular eight millimeter stud, a longer one, and just have to tap my case and make a bigger hole. But I don't wanna do that if I can avoid it. So let's see what happens with this. So let me put these two bolts on here. All right, so we got the two nuts locked on there. And uh, now we can just turn it out. You can see, see if you can see the stud turning. There you go. That's the stud backing out. Okie dokie. So I got the stud out. You can see right there. And here's the new one. This is a six millimeter with an, it steps up to an eight millimeter. So I'm just gonna screw that in there. And I'm not gonna be able to screw it all the way down because I need it to stick up pretty far. Um, but in order to see how far I need to stick it up, I need to drill out these holes right here to put the uh, pump in so I can get it to sit flat and see how much I need to, to have sticking out from here. First thing I'm gonna do is take off this coil, kind of get out of the way and um, spray some degreaser around here just to kind of clean things up. goes on the negative side. All right, now I can get access to this bracket. This uh, coil relocator bracket is bolted to the case and to the gas um, pump. As you can see. installing and tap this case drill baby drill so here's a drill bit this is a 1760 forts size drill bit and we're gonna put it into this six millimeter hole right here make sure I'm going straight see if I have a sharper drill bit okay so I couldn't find another size the exact same size but 
This one is sharper, so what I'm gonna do is drill it with this one and then hopefully open it up with the other one once I get the hole in. Oh my God, big difference. <laughs> All right, let me get this metal shavings out of here. which is the correct size right here all right should be good Actually, I think I'm gonna go get my shop back and set up all this stuff here all right now that we got a nice clean hole in there you can see that now we gotta now we gotta tap it. Let's do it. This is my first time ever doing this, my friends. Alright, let's set up this tap. So I need a eight millimeter tap. So uh, and seven. M8. I think I need an M8 by 125. Yes. So make sure you get the right one. Here's an M8 by 1. Here's an M8 by 125. Let's see that? All right. Now, take this. Thing in there. Okay. Let's see that. Make sure it's in there straight. Okay. So we got that in there. Now let's put it on the thing I need to tap. So I want to make sure I'm going in there straight at a 90 degree angle. It's not working here folks, hold on. Alright, so I tried the 17 64 and it didn't work it was too small so now i'm gonna try to 9 30 seconds which i already drilled the hole so now let's try to tap it again all right this seems to be fitting much better this time yeah so i'm gonna have to go and get a better quality one of these because this is just stripping. Well, that Harbor Freight tool didn't work. All right, what is up YouTube? We ran into some problems here, but we're gonna push through those problems. We'll show you what's going on. Now the other part of the story, the Harbor Freight story is this Pittsburgh 40 piece carbon steel tap and die set that I bought and uh, didn't work. So I went to Home Depot and got a name brand, probably still made in China, but um, tap and die set. And actually they sell just one, which is cool because I only need one. I don't need the whole set. It's eight by 1.25. And um, so this is one I need. Hopefully this is gonna work. This drill bit is a size H, which I have no idea what that means. Um, 
So I'm gonna check the fit and then I'm gonna try to see if I can do this again. I'm also gonna use WD-40 this time for lubrication. Okay, so this is the 1764 uh, drill bit that I used. And um, it didn't feel like it was big enough. So I'm gonna check this drill bit that came with the DeWalt tool set and see if that works. All right, so here's the drill bit that came with the DeWalt. Again, it's a, again, it's a size H. All right, so this is the H size drill bit. And, ooh, it's a little bit, the hole is a little bit bigger than this, which is making me nervous. Um, because I ended up using a 930 seconds drill bit. Um, it does fit in there, so let's hope this tap is a little bit better quality. It's, yeah, it looks like it's too loose, but we'll see what happens. Let's get some WD-40. I can actually feel it cutting. You can see the material that it cut here. Here we are with this. It's a little bit long. Probably cut off like about three or four threads here at the top. Or maybe I'll just leave it. I don't know. Got this over here. You can see sticking out. So let me try to get a hacksaw and get that in there. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and mount this oil cooler. Um, I was gonna cut this as you can see right there, but uh, I think I'm just gonna leave it. Um, it's okay if it's an extra long bolt, nothing's gonna happen. So yeah, let's put this bad boy on. Go ahead and 
mount this. Tighten it up. All right, let's get our mounting bolt on there. I just need one more for the other side. So there you go there. Got the eight by 1.25 bolt on there. Extra long, but it's all good. So just tighten this down and then switch back over to this side, tighten these down and we should be good to go. I got some wavy washers on there, so it's going to help keep it in place. Hopefully I won't have any more oil leaks after this. Okay, nice and snug. That's tight. Okay, we're tight there. I'm just gonna clean up that in there just so I can see if there's any future oil leaks. All right, so next thing we're gonna do is remove this and put the gasket set going here. Let's take off this Hoover bit first. off. Oh, it doesn't come off. Oh man. Well, I guess I don't have to take it all the way off to put the gaskets or grommets, whatever you want to call these things. Just go in there like this. there put a little bit of rust prevention on here Locked in, baby. Got those on. I think we actually made some progress today, folks. Let's go.